Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we slept the whole night through. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. It is Monday, the 17th of January 2022. It's Martin Luther King Day here in America. And um, we're at the Yacht and Beach Club. <laughs> We're not, we're just at the beach club. The I always beach. say that, Yacht and Beach Club. We're, it's just a beach club. Yacht Club's on there. Yeah, Yacht Club's that way. It's our first full day here in Walt Disney World today. And we are going for breakfast at Cake May Cafe. Yeah. And then we are off to Epcot for the day. There is early entry hours this morning from 9.30 till 10, if you're staying on Disney property. And then later tonight, because we are in a deluxe hotel, there are special extra hours from 9 to 11 at Epcot. So yeah, it's going to be an Epcot kind of day today. Yeah. Slept very well last night, didn't we? Yeah. That bed. Oh my goodness, it's so comfortable. We were awake about quarter to five. Yeah. Which for us on the first day with jet lag is pretty decent. So it's all good. But yeah, it's now like... Seven o'clock. It's now like five past seven. Um, it's at 11 degrees. Yeah, it's currently 11 degrees. So it's a bit chilly, but it's not too bad. Highs today of 16, they've said, haven't yeah. they? So it's not going to be the warmest, but it's still not. But it's the only day that's below in the low 20s, of course. Weather. Yeah, the weather's meant to get better, I think, after tomorrow. Yeah. So I think it's crossed. It'll be a bit warmer, but it's still not cold, cold. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's still way more pleasant. Yeah. Jeans, the jeans are out. The jeans are on, but yeah, it's all good. So we're going to go have a little wander around and uh, then head for breakfast at Cape May Cafe. You excited? So, still can't believe we're here, still can't believe we're at Beach Club. This is just insane. So we are here at Cape May Cafe. Uh, one thing to note, this is not a character dining location at the moment, um, but we've just had some caramel bread with vanilla sauce and I missed, what did she say that was? It's a fruit yoghurt. A fruit yoghurt um, each. And oh, that smells amazing. I don't think Rich is gonna like it because I can smell cinnamon on it. <laughs> and some fresh fruit. Um, just waiting on some coffee yeah. and some juice. Coffee has arrived. And some OJ. How was your um, fruit yogurt? Lovely. This is like my new favorite thing. I'm gonna have to try and find a recipe for this and try and bake it myself, because it is so, so good. Um, but I don't wanna eat all of it, because, you know, still got a whole platter of breakfast to come. The main event has arrived. This is our platter. We've got French toast, Mickey waffles, scrambled eggs, sausages. Like potato tots, potato. potato tots, breakfast potatoes, bacon, and a big old thing of maple syrup. Yum, yum, yum. So uh, we demolished the first platter, it is gone, and we have asked for some more potato tots and uh, bacon. FYI, we have found tater tots in England, haven't we? Purely by accident. So, farm foods, they do a hash brown potato barrel, I think they call it. Uh, and they are tater tots, so yeah, if you want to have some American tater tots in England, go to Farm Foods. I think they're a pound a bag. So our bill for today has just arrived, and it is a total of $53.25. Um, we do have the dining credit, which we're going to use for this, but yeah, that's not bad. What did you think, Rich? Yeah. Eating enough food? 
plenty of acres. So, like I said, this is normally a character dining location, but due to COVID, obviously there aren't that many character dining things now. Um, there is not any characters here at all currently, which is fine. It used to be an all-you-can-eat buffet, so you used to go up to the stations that are behind me and help yourself to food. Uh, but due to COVID, it's now become an all-you-care-to-eat family-style buffet. So like you saw, they bring us out a platter, and they will bring you extra of anything that you want to do. It's the same way they've been doing it at places like Garden Grill and Liberty Tree Tavern for years. Omelettes to order. Yeah, you can get omelettes to order as well if you want to. But I am very pleasantly full. This caramel bread, although I only ate one piece of it, is my new favourite thing. And I'm definitely going to try and find a recipe and create that when we get home. So good. The only thing I wasn't really a fan of was the French toast. And that's because I, I'm quite traditional when it comes to French toast or as we call it in the UK, eggy bread. <laughs> it's eggy bread. I just like egg, bread dipped in egg and fried. I don't want powdered sugar and cinnamon on it. But apart from that, everything else was really, really tasty. But yeah, we're gonna settle up and um, probably pop back to the room quickly because I want to drop my um, glasses off because I don't really know where I bought them out. So there's no point when I have to take my mask on and off. So um, yeah, we're gonna pop back to the room and crack on with the day. This is our dining card, so we've got I think it was like $68 a night, wasn't it, for our room. So um, you get an email with it on and then I've just added the gift card to my Apple wallet so we can just bring that up to pay with stuff. There was a saga with the $200 Disney gift card, but we will, I'll get to that I'm sure at some point. <laughs> we're just waiting to pay for our um, breakfast and then we're gonna head off. The sun is shining now. Snow is fine. <laughs> no, Christmas oh. is done. So we are now heading to Epcot for the morning. We're still quite early. I don't know if we're about to get in yet, but we're gonna... Probably not, because it's not even nine o'clock. No, it's not even nine o'clock yet. An early entry starts at half nine. Um, but we're gonna head over that way anyway. Someone wants another figment. I don't want... No, I'm not buying any more figment she popcorn buckets. She was so buckets. surprised yesterday that we only asked for two. Yeah, so if you haven't watched yesterday's, so we went and got the figment popcorn buckets that are causing all the, the drama. And... Um, we were like, can we have two? Because I wanted one for me and one as a present for someone. She was like, only two? I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm not putting them all on eBay. <laughs> like a lot of people are. There were people walking around with loads just though, weren't there? Well, there's that guy who passed, wasn't there, who was saying that there's a woman in front of him in the cube who only wanted one. So he turned around to her and offered to buy hers if he could have her if he second. he could have her second one. Yeah, and the thing is, like, people are, I think what I've seen more is people are playing by the rules of Disney, which is a two, family of four. two per person. So if you've got a family of four, they can get up to eight. But yeah, anyway, enough of talk about figment popcorn buckets. <laughs> Done with that for the rest of the holiday. We were just saying as we were walking out, like, we can't believe that we're here. We can't believe that this is where we're staying. It's like a dream resort for us, isn't it? Yeah. I just can't believe how lucky we are that we've managed, that this is happening. It's got much And it's, yeah, it's quite warm in that sun now. Um, I don't know what the exact temperature is right this moment, but, you know, we're not a weather channel. <laughs> but it's... We'll give you an idea of what it is It's today. very pleasant, currently. It's going to come up in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's very pleasant. And we are in. And I think we're going to head to Norway and try and get on Frozen. We've never been through the actual main queue line of Frozen, we've only ever gone through the Fast Pass lane. And we don't intend on, applying, on buying Genie Plus at any point <laughs> in this holiday. That may change, but at the moment we're not planning on it. So let's um, head over to Norway. So FYI, for early entry. You all get through. You, everyone comes through the uh, main entrance, but then they are checking magic bands and passes and stuff. Uh, further up. If you are not at a participating hotel, you have to uh, wait and they're not letting you in. And it's only 10 to 9. And it's only 10 to 9 and technically early entry doesn't start till half 9. So there seems to be a lot of people heading down towards Ratatouille. But I'm, I, from what I've seen, it's not open during early entry. So maybe they're just trying to get a jump on the queues. But um, I'm hoping we will get on that <laughs> at some point. But again, it is a carbon copy of the one in Paris, isn't it? So we will do it. We will do our best to get on it, but it's not new for us, is it? I let, apart from the fact that it'll all be in English as opposed to French. But yeah, lots of people legging it to places. I'm guessing all towards Ratatouille, but yeah, we're going to avoid that this morning and head to uh, Norway. Everyone is running down that way. 
I'm, really, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Seeing what they've done with that area, because obviously this just used to be France, and now you've got that whole bit down the side there. Can't we? Does that mean we have to go around the other way? I don't know. So you can't go this way round to Norway. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get stopped because that you're gonna you're gonna get stopped before you get to like World Showcase, really. But obviously the French bit is open <laughs> for people to start queuing for Atatui. Um But we're gonna go the other way around World Showcase. Um, it's it's, yeah, it should be closer. I always get confused the order of the pavilions. <laughs> so. I can't remember if it'd be easier this way or easier that way, but oh my god, there's just people legging it to Ratatouille. Do you remember when there was the frozen meet and greet in Magic Kingdom? <laughs> yeah. And like at Rope Shop, everyone just used to leg it that way. <laughs> that was a few years back now, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing, it's just now it's for Ratatouille. So we've just like been let to flee, free of the rope that we were being held at by Canada. And look at the, it's the figment popcorn rush. <laughs> I am so glad we did that last night <laughs> now. So look, yeah, everyone is heading over there. I have to say Laura, was it, who was yeah. holding us? Laura or Laura? I think it, I think it was Laura. Um, she was awesome, wasn't she? She was like trying to keep everyone really hyped up and giving loads of good information. We put masks on because obviously we were held there for quite a while, <laughs> surrounded by quite a... Yeah, people kept getting closer and closer to us. I was like, yep, mask is going on. Oh dear. Made it to Norway. Can't believe this is our first ride of the holiday. <laughs> we're going on frozen, kids. <laughs> Exit to the gift shop. Look at the troll. He's so pretty. I'm glad we came here first because the queue for this is already quite long. We were all welcome. Oh, it's a bit breezy today, so sorry for the wind noises. I know. Lots of people have already walking around with their popcorn buckets. I need to stop talking about the popcorn buckets. I really do. So what are we going to do now? We're so out of practice with all this. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. But, um, we'll find something to do, I'm sure. So, for full transparency, I have a DAS pass, which is the Disabled Access Pass. And the reason I have that is because I have arthritis in both my knees and my hands. And I do struggle now. But I uh, didn't in 2018 as much, but over the past couple of years it's got really bad. And I do struggle with standing still for long periods of time and lots of walking and I struggle. So, and I also, if you've been watching my channel for the past year, will know that I've been struggling with anxiety a lot recently as well. So, gonna be honest that we have a DAS pass. We don't intend on using it for absolutely everything, but it is gonna be helpful to avoid the really long queues. And uh, it's using it for the first time ever today, so I've never used it before. And we have just got a time to go and queue for Remy. So, we've got about half hour. Um, so we can go and Ratatouille now. So we're going to head over to Sorin and see what the queue for that's like and see if we can go soar around the world. We've got our first 50th statues. There's Miguel from Coco. And then we've got Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. We couldn't remember his name earlier, but now we're like, oh yeah, it's Rocket. There's Ola. And Pascal. Look, I love all this. That's not Pascal, is it? Is it Pascal? We've got Olaf and who's down here? Yeah, that is, no, um, that's that's from Frozen 2. Oh, but I can't remember his name because I've only ever watched that film once. We're so good with Disney stuff. <laughs> hey, hey. And then we've got, hey, hey. And I want to say his name is Pua, Pui. I could tell you all the classic characters, the new ones I'm not so up on. Into the land. To the centre of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Name that film or series, wasn't it? Series. Name that cartoon series. Should know it if you're a 90s kid. <laughs> That's where they're headed. Sorry, around the world. 
currently saying a 10 minute wait. It's pretty decent for soaring. Give that a go. You ready to soar? Yeah. <laughs> He seems so excited. It's hard to judge excitement levels between us, isn't it? <laughs> it's like I'm really happy. Hello and welcome to Soarin. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Soarin is done. Always such a fun ride to have fun soaring around the world, isn't it? <laughs> I think they've upped the um, smell stuff. Yeah, the, the, I think they, yeah, we were saying that the smells that they pumped in were really strong. I think they might have done that because everyone's wearing masks to make sure you can still smell it. You can definitely smell it. But yeah, we're going to go to Living With The Land now because we're in the land of the Might as well get it done. So this is you. That used to be the Lion King thing. Not sure what that is now, but we're gonna head over to Journey. Journey of the Imagination with Figment now. Let's go see my Figment. On our way to see Figment and we spot Winnie the Pooh. Aww. He's coming over to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, figment time. Zero minutes. Zero minutes. What we like. Hello. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the chore. For every sound, your ears are hearing. Start appearing, and each of us imagines different things. From just a sound, your mind has wings. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit it. With F-I-G-M-E-N-T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll. Look at the pigment match. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that t-shirt. <laughs> they do have some cool fan cases though. Okay, that's kind of cute. Mama, I want one of these someday. Oh, I There's imagination down the side, and that is, there's no price on that one. $35. Not bad, I do like that. Pigment done, soaring done. Living with the land done, frozen done, and now um, we've got a dust pass for Ratatouille. So we're going to take a wander round to the France Pavilion. And. Oh, we're getting both. Oh, yeah, Rich wants to get. Huh? The queue for Figment. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> we seem to be missing all the queues. As soon as we come out of something, there's a massive queue, so we're obviously doing quite well. Um, yeah, Rich wants to get the friendship boats over to the other side of World Showcase, which I'm all for, because we've not even been here for like half a morning yet, and already my knees are hurting. <laughs> so I'm all for getting a boat over, and we've never done it, have we? We've never been on the friendship boat, so might as well. Um, I just want to stop by one of the shops to pick up the scavenger hunt passport, um, which is a thing at a festival where well, they do different ones at all the festivals, but best of the arts it's finding figments and then once you find them all you go back and you get a little prize so we're going to do that over the next few days I think yeah off we go Days. 